Charlie, stand by. What's up, sweats? Tryhards and campers alike, it's your buddy Camper, and yes, I did address the sweats first because there is one exception to my camping play style, and that is Shoot House, obviously in Modern Warfare. Uh, this gameplay is actually very sweaty, for me at least. Um, I had some unexpected time during the day, Shoot the Ship is back, and it was perfect because I wasn't playing at night, I didn't need a few hours to calm down so I could fall asleep. I do have to admit this lobby seemed a bit easier than usual. It was probably because the first few games I played it didn't do so well, so the SBMM was working in my favor. <laughs> and also when I switched over to Cold War directly after this game, it was just a gnarly sweat fest and I just got my you-know-what handed to me for about four or five games before stuff seemed to kind of even out and I have heard that they're connected so uh, Modern Warfare and Cold War when it comes to the SBMM for instance so she looked over that wall jumped down backwards I've never really seen anyone do that before I feel like I should have gotten killed but instead I got a kill and I'm not complaining <laughs> do you guys love shoot house or better yet what are your favorite maps it could be Modern Warfare Cold War uh, just COD in general actually let me know in the comments below and as always if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn on notifications so you won't miss any content I do have to thank our 15 new subscribers putting us at 25 subscribers we truly appreciate all of you and I know 25 may not sound like a lot but I do enjoy the small victories which also applies to the fun of life itself and of course again our channel is all about having fun and now to the gameplay as you all might have noticed um, I am fairly sweaty on the way to the office once I am in the office it's all about getting those proximity mines on either side of the doors so I can do my best at camping from the office um, since it's such a small map I do end up having to get into a lot of firefights outside of the office, but the whole idea with the proximity mine on either side, uh, they might get killed before they even get in here. If the door opens on the right, I'll hear it, and luckily you can fire through the door and the desk to the right, which uh, helps get kills. There we go with my trophy system that I believe exploded before it hit the ground. I love that thing. I throw it there every time and I actually get kills with it as well. Since this is hardcore mode, if the trophy system causes a projectile or grenade or something to explode and an enemy combatant <laughs> is by it, it will actually kill them. Unfortunately, uh, I do have to say that that does happen to teammates as well. And I am sorry for that. If you've seen some of my other videos, they are apologies for friendly fire. And I will continue to do those as I feel very bad when I kill a teammate. Uh, almost as bad as when I get killed by a teammate. <laughs> I do have to say that playing Modern Warfare again made me miss having proximity mines and claymores as your lethals because they just contributed to so many kills for me in Modern Warfare. Um, I do have restock on, I also have shrapnel on cause, so I have two of my lethals and I'm also running EOD so I do not die from explosives. I, I know this is an older game but I'm still very shocked that EOD works so well in hardcore. Um, it's Again, I'm just glad that it's there because it saves me from a lot. Also, going back to the claymores and uh, proximity mines, like that one I had time to drop because that guy was <laughs> running away from me. Um, I, sheesh, they rack up so many kills, especially with restock on. I have time to set some traps on the way to the office, and then by the time I get to the office, I usually have at least one recharged sometimes two already and um, you know I just place them by both doors obviously to get kills but also they're a bit of an alarm system as I'm sure you guys realize you might notice too I periodically will 
just quickly pull up a proximity mine and then it goes away. That's just my way of seeing if I have any since it's hardcore and I don't have the icon in the bottom right corner letting me know. Do you guys miss proximity mines and claymores as lethals? Let me know in the comments below. Thank God for UAVs and Predator missiles. <laughs> I have noticed the Predator missiles seem to have a much larger blast radius in Modern Warfare, whereas Cold War it almost seems like you have to get a direct hit. I do miss just dropping a Predator missile, I think just like this one, fairly close to some enemy combatants and getting double kills like that. Um, I didn't even see that there was a second guy, unless, now that it was both Predator missiles, I was thinking maybe it was a, a proximity mine. I always want to say Bouncing Betty's, I've been playing COD for a little while now, and I forget, I think it was Black Ops 2 that that's what they called them, which is still my favorite COD to this day, and I'm not sure why I do not own it. I think I might actually buy it so I can throw some gameplay up on the channel. Let me know what kind of gameplay you guys like to see. I'm sure a lot of you would like to see stuff other than camping, though that's what this channel is dedicated to, and fun, again. I'm running out of time here, so as you can see, we didn't win. We're all playing Team Deathmatch, <laughs> even though it's domination, but sometimes that's how it rolls. I'm going to go watch the finale of The Mandalorian for about the 30th time, and I hope you all have a good night. Remember to have fun gaming and have fun in life. I'll see you in the next one.